A very warm welcome to our coverage of the AFC Champions League. We're at the Sultan Ibrahim Stadium, a fabulous new venue in the southern state of Johor for Johor Darul Taksim versus Guangzhou FC. Match day one, the Group I of the AFC Champions League Eastern Region. Johor Darul Taksim are the seven times in a row defending champions of the Malaysia Super League. In a 14 group earlier on today, Kawasaki Frontale and Ulsan Hayodai fought out a one all draw. Kawasaki forcing a 94th minute equaliser to gain a share of the points here. Guangzhou have sent a very, very young side to take on Johor Darrell Taksim. So I suspect the home team will be very much favourites to pick up all three points from this match. 28 degrees, it's a balmy night, 58% humidity, not much wind, but it's a fully enclosed stadium, so the wind doesn't tend to make much of an impact at this venue. It is night time, it's 10 o'clock, it's um, Ramadan for the uh, Muslim players, and so they were only able to break fast around about 7.30 today. That's why the kickoffs are a little bit later for the AFC Champions League, but that shouldn't really inhibit Johor Darrell Taksim. Their players are, are well used to dealing with the trials and tribulations of uh, fasting during the fasting. The boys of straits are here in not all their numbers. I'm sure those numbers will go as we get uh, a little bit closer to kickoff time. It's a beautifully appointed stadium. It's uh, around about 35,000 capacity uh, with COVID restrictions, 15,000 the capacity for to today. And this will be the home for Johor Darrell Taksim for all six of their matches. They've never got out of the group phases, Johor Darrell Taksim. They'll be hoping that they can do so here. And they, they really will look at this as an opportunity because Guangzhou have sent very much a youth squad. Kawasaki traditionally don't do well in the AFC Champions League whereas Ulsan are one of the giants. But Johor Darrell Taksim will be hoping to get things off to a winning start. Guangzhou, for their um, point of view, they'll be looking at this as a real opportunity for some of the younger players to make themselves a career in the game. The average age of this team is only 21. You can see there's some young, rather nervy-looking faces there. Four of these starting lineups started in the AFC Champions League last season when they lost all six of their matches, but they performed admirably, particularly in the matches against Kitchi in that uh, AFC Champions League group. So they will not be massively overawed by what Johor have to offer. It's up to Johor to take the game to. Nacho Inter is the captain for today. He will be at the heart of midfield. Plenty of stars on the bench, Safai Rashid on the right there. What Johor do is they find the best talent and give them opportunities to play on these big stages, but none has played better than this fella for them this season. Bergson de Silva, he scored more than a goal a game since he moved to Johor in the 2020 season. And the former Fortaleza player, the Brazilian, really is the focal point of all the attacking prowess. He supported by the Argentine duo of Fernando Forestieri, who scored three goals so far. Uh, Forestieri has had a lot of experience in uh, Italy, La Liga, and in England with uh, Sheffield Wednesday and Watford. And um, it's a front three that is made up by Bergson, Fernando Forestieri, and Arif Ayman, who is uh, a prodigious young talent who much is expected of by Johor, and so far he is delivering. As for Guangzhou, really has been difficult to find out the playing records, a number of their young players. I can only tell you, He Shaolin, the number 56, played last year, but he's also played uh, in Chinese League 2 for Yunnan Kunlu and for China under 20. So it's a huge task facing the yellow shirt at Guangzhou. It's a huge opportunity for Johor Darul Taksim. It's an intimidating stadium if you're not used to it. The grandstand opposite the entrance goes up high into the sky. And the blue and red 
the Johor State Killers flashing around the stadium. Johor have a, a fabulous record at uh, their home venues. They used to play at the Larkin Stadium until this venue opened in 2020. Of course, COVID has restricted the number of opportunities to play with fans. But this is the big league. This is what Johor Darrell Taksim have invested so much time and effort and money on. A chance to host one of the group. And they must get off to a winning start against Guangzhou. A team who themselves have, in a previous lifetime, won the AFC Champions League on two separate occasions. But financial problems mean that this is not the Guangzhou that we have grown to know. This is an opportunity for Johor Darul Taksim. AFC Champions League, Group I, Johor Darul Taksim versus Guangzhou FC. No foreign born players playing for Guangzhou. Nearly all products of the Guangzhou youth system, which has had a, a lot of money and a lot of investment made into it. Teams make their way down the line. Match referee is from Saudi Arabia, as are his two assistants. The fourth official, Omar Mubarak, is from Oman. So an experienced uh, group of officials. That's a fabulous stadium. This is the Johor Darul Taksim lineup. Hazik Nadsli gets a rare starting goal because Faris Almalia suffered concussion in a league game last week and is rested. Cheryl Saad returns at centre back. Um, I think Cheryl will play there and Matty Davis will play on the right hand side. Arif and Leandro provide the width for Forestieri and uh, Bergson up front. Benjamin Mora has kept with his front three very, very much. I'm expecting Arif to be far more offensive-minded than uh, a place in, in midfield. Leandro is a will-of-the-wisp kind of player. As for Guangzhou FC, a lot of speculation in this, and from what we've been able to glean from the training that they've been taking on, we're expecting them to play a 3-5-2 formation. The official team photos are done. Shamari from Saudi Arabia. He's a 35-year-old from Malaysia. We might remember him from the Asian Games where he was in charge of the match where Malaysia famously beat Korea by two goals to one. Attacking players like Safai Rashid, Ramadan Saifullah, Hazwan Bakri, all capable of scoring goals. Shama Kuti and Shami Safari, also internationals, as is Nazmi Faiz. That's where the Guangzhou substitutes well again. We've not had a chance to see them much. There's not much in their careers. So this is just an opportunity that they will be looking to make the most of. It's a fine stage, it's a fabulous pitch. Occasion for them, oh, they have a certain amount of ancestry that they've got to live up to as well. Oh. 
indeed we are underway. Trying to immediately try to force a little bit of the, the pace. This is one. Pancho Inter in quickly. Now if I'm just tucked back there, they shall in. the Argentine. Two Argentines, actually. Velasquez, Buenos Aires born. Forestieri born in Rosario. There is Velasquez. He'll just try and create the opportunities. His Shane Lowry, AFC qualified player for Malaysia. Uh, for Johor. Matt Davis. Australian born, but uh, Malaysia international. Velasquez once again, and immediately it's a 5-4-1. It's a very defensive mindset. From Guangzhou, I think Fazel spins away from a couple of challenges. Just quick to the field, looking for Aisha Lim to chase. Very, very early stage as the Guangzhou have come here to contain. Almost all six of their AFC Champions League matches last season with a similarly young squad. On the bench, Pan Young Hei. Looked after these lads as a group of under 21s coming through the ranks. Very proud of his boys. Oh. Pan is the starting goalkeeper. Helped on by Bergson. It is Xiao Jin. Again, just hoisted forward. They may be young, but they'll compete. Arif, it's a wide pitch, as wide as they possibly can get it. Arif comes inside, looks for Bergson. Well with by uh, Hao Jin. He's again getting caught up with the tall, muscular Shaolin. He's a big fella. Here's Levert Corbinong. And Cheryl Saad. Velasquez. Nacho Inter inside. Bergson coming short. Bergson again. Seven goals in four games for Bergson. It's a shot away early. And the goalkeeper makes a nervy looking first save. His confidence is sky high, Bergson de Silva. Good flick on. He's started well, Shaolin, or started aggressively, I should say. And he's involved once again. Oh, 
referee already having just have a, a couple of quiet words with the Guangzhou lads. Inter. The time Forest Rieri came short, an Italian slips over. Shane Lowry will allow that run through to Nazik Hatley. Nazik not have many chances because of the form. And Paris Almalias. Velasquez launches it long for Zahifan. Bergson blocked on the edge of the penalty area. Velasquez tries to spin it through. Zahifan. Clearance from Zahifan. players because the way they've set up couldn't get much uh, ball in the opposition half straight ball from Davis difficult to execute difficult to stop it's really that uh, Harry Feynman is the man that they're trying to get more and more involved into the game of age now, Afik, no longer considered a kid, probably the prime of his football life. Velasquez and Nacho got a little bit more experience. Arif, 19, still just going out, loving his football, gets to the byline, Arif wins the first corner. He's got that acceleration, Arif Ayman. Velasquez to Nacho Inza. Lowry's in the penalty area, so is Bergs. Nacho expertly blocked the cross. Velasquez hoisted up for Shane Lowry. Australians done well to keep the ball alive. New way, giving him attention. There, Corbin Ong, back to Afik. Bergson wants to set up the shot. He does have a good right foot. Afik, this is Lowry playing as left winger. Even in these early stages, looking for Bergson! Shane Lowry with the cross, Bergson the silver, scores at the back post and an extravagant slide into coach Benjamin Mora. Inside 10 minutes. Just what the Johor fans wanted, exactly what Guangzhou did not want. But look at this, it's Shane Lowry, he's the centre-back. Puts in a perfect cross and Bergson hangs up. That's poorly timed though, the challenge from Chiao. 
Hung up though by Shane Lowry and Berg says thank you very much indeed. Bergson will get all the credit, but Shane Lowry deserves a vast amount of credit for the cross that he's put in there. Mexican and the Brazilian celebrating. Johor off to the start that they were after. Here is Lowry. Davis. again looks for Arif on handle ball and <laughs> he's trying to be playmaker and winger and everything Shane Lowry he's only signed last season just before Johor's AFC Champions League campaign in which they didn't get out of the group stages but they performed well enough up in Thailand as Velasquez round the corner looks for Bergson once again Surrounded by three eager yellow Guangzhou shirts. Davis steps in. Nacho Inter. Neatly played. Forestieri. Inter. The playing surface is absolutely immaculate. Inter finds Davis. Velasquez always demands it. There, Corbin Ong is in isolation on the other side of the pitch. Into Forestieri. Velasquez. The two Argentines trying to combine. And the Spanish born Nacho Inter. And Charles Sard. He's from Ipo. Guangzhou, they've got a game plan. Sticking with it. Experience for their younger players. Velasquez, Bergson, Forestieri. Oh, and the goalkeeper's dropped it into his own net. Having made the initial save, 12 minutes in, and Hayley Pan has literally thrown one into his own net. Forestieri got himself into a good scoring position through the heart of the defence. Haley Penn had made the save. The last thing he'll want to see is a replay of this. That's good from Forestieri. Gets the shot away. Okay, he's made the save and then just backs. Look behind the goal. to defend the goalkeeper on that. Straight through the gloves. So Bergson, now Forestieri, and within 15 minutes, Darrell Taksim made a, a fabulous start to this tournament. There are far more difficult matches to come, that they know. Charles Saad. Charles Saad has gone heavily into the back of the head there of uh, Hei Shaolin. Might have been a little bit of retribution there from Cheryl Saad. Because he was never going to win the ball. His second best. It's a more good one for Shaolin. He's 
up though. That's for coach Pan Yong Hei. Keep it tight. Keep it as keep them quiet. Stop the crowd getting into the game. That will have been the instruction. Certainly they set up with a 5-4-1 to disrupt and distract. which Azik just steps back and comfortably saves. Good vision, though, from Shaolin. Shaolin soccer. Fig for Zale. Possessional stats massively, massively. JDT's favour. Forestieri's on the floor as well. <laughs> his effort, and some of the Bergson actually just caught the man with the follow through in his shot. Pin again looks for Shaolin. Again, Lowry towers above him. No nonsense defender. Lebert Corbinong anticipates and is then chopped down. And surely it's only a matter of time before Guangzhou pick up a yellow card because that is a, shall I call it clumsy from Hao Su? Indeed, he's got the yellow card. It's the fine line between enthusiasm, which you expect a young team to show in such adversity, and uh, over-aggression. And 
Spencer and Velasquez. 62, Hao Su picking up the yellow card. as well, it must be said by Guangzhou. But it's quite right, you can't just let the opponent play, particularly not on their home stadium. Clear by Ifan to Hazik. every opportunity. Tries the extravagant long ball and Harry Feynman can't commit to the challenge. Roots and into the youth development system, and some of these guys will be able to carry the mantle somewhat. Tian Ching couldn't keep it alive. to Lowry. Davis, Velasquez. This is 20 odd passes now for Johor. Forestieri gets the shot away. And make sure he gets everything behind that and drops to the floor. That was a, a move for Johor where they went left and right and right and left and roundabout pass number 20. 
Fernando Forestieri got in a, a shot. And just picks that one horribly out of play. It's Forestieri. He's had a nomadic career, the Argentine. A very good career. 60 odd first team games, nearly 80 goals. Forestieri looking for the through ball from Nacho Inter. Trying to play out from the back. Lowry, though, intercepts the pass. And uh, soon now out of position. And they find themselves a little bit short staffed at the back, Guangzhou. And they've got everybody back. Arif. Bergson turns away. Velasquez. Still that rigid 5 4 1 from Guangzhou. Been breached twice already. Once um, through good play and once through some poor goalkeeping. Jin hooks it forward and it's another nothing ball for Shaolin to chase on his own. made superbly by the dummy from Fernando Forestieri. Well, this is exactly the rampant kind of Johor performance that the home crowd wanted and probably expected against Guangzhou. Nice little dummy. Evan Bergson is one on one with the defenders. If the defender gives him that much space, as Chai Hal did, well, the Brazilian born will punish you. It's a fine finish. No chance once again for goalkeeper Haley Pin. Two for Bergson. scored 10 in an FA Cup game earlier on this season. They scored six in a league game against Sarawak United. Threes on a couple of occasions and a near two against Trungano last time out. They know this is just the start of a, a very, very tough 15 days work. for a number of years we're going to give this every bit of seriousness and that's exactly what they've done so far Johor Tianqing loses out to Arif 
Bergs. Buffett to the get up. Use the hand to get up. And at this stage, the referee calls uh, a temporary halt proceedings. It's uh, the obligatory refreshment drink on the half hour mark. On a very useful opening 30 minutes this group it has been. Two goals for Bergs and the Silva. One goal for Fernando Forestieri. Although, when it goes to Forestieri, it may, may well count as an own goal. Such was the error from Hayley Pam. It's all going to plan so far. This is only match day one of six. But it's not going to plan at all for Guangzhou. Your national team boss looking on to see what the Johor contingent can do. Five matches coming up in quick succession for Malaysia. Green coach Pan, and the technical director and the under 23s coach are also in the stadium as well. We'll learn a lot about the character of these Guangzhou lads in the well the next hour, but also in the next two weeks. What lessons can they absorb? What lessons can they learn? Big players to aim for, Shaolin, 56 at the far post. And Johor picking up zones rather than man-to-man -man from this kind of corner. And that goes through comfortably to Hazzy. <laughs> they are not shrinking violets on <laughs> this Guangzhou group. There's a Hao Jin with a, a not very subtle push on the back of the goalkeeper. Velasquez. Yeah, there's no mucking around with the challenge there, was there, from Tianqing? We are the Sultan Ibrahim Stadium in Johor. It's one of the two venues being used for the Group I matches. We're now taxing the, the home team, providing both venues, making sure that this fabulous stadium is their home for all six of their matches, all over the top from Macho Inter. And it's rather straight and it runs off very, very quickly off the turf. the only target. It is rather rudimentary, the tactics from Guangzhou. player can play as a number 10 or as a second striker or as he is operating here as a, a wide left player the 
this AFC Champions League group, only the group winners are guaranteed a place in the knockout stages. There are five Eastern region groups, five Western region groups, so the five group winners go through. Then it's the best three runners up. But that's got a little bit more complicated recently. And those best three runners up will only be decided by matches against the teams who finish, well, if you're not first, against the teams who finish first and third. So if Guangzhou were to be bottom of this group, then this result would not count for Johor, which doesn't negate the performance, doesn't negate the, the scoreline. It does tell you that it needs to be taken in a little bit of context. Vasquez is there helping out. Charles Sard. It's a nearly caught up by Jim Fang. Working hard, Guangzhou. Trying to keep their shape up. Any movement just seems to discombobulate them, as we saw for the for the dummy for the third goal. Bergson, Forestieri, Bergson. Whether he's trying for a, a double one-two there or for the shot on goal, but the challenge came in from Yansin just to put him off at the crucial time. going wrong like that oh, the big things and they're going to go wrong as well here's Afik Fazel his possessional stats just at 80% for Johor Darrell Taksin Charles Sard and Shane Lowry take care of uh, Shaolin who will eagerly chase Hazik Hazik's forced into a kind of rush clearance that's uh, got no Johor players nearby Jahao. Jim Feng, ball over the top. Tenzin was a good five yards offside. Ship up front, Shane Lowry does really well just to hold off Hao Su. Brave effort from Hao Su to try and go around the outside. Approaching the final five minutes of this first half.
Matty Davis. It's given away rather carelessly. Shaolin wins it back. Yang Sin. And the pressure from Arif, and Arif comes away with the ball. And Velasquez is knocked off it, and Yang Sin comes away again, and there's a, a collision there off the ball with Leandro Velasquez. It's uh, Hao Jin clutching his face. He decides he needs a bit of attention. I mean, he'll gonna have to go off the pitch. From the histrionics, I suspect it's just keep the ball moving, Leandro. Do what you always do. Velasquez kind of gives him a nod, of course, boss. Jaho hooks it forward. Hao Jin is back on the pitch. They're receiving a little bit of treatment. Enjoy that one. Will Nacho insert a little nutmeg through Rumpiao? As it's going 3 0 up, Johor haven't exactly been pressing on all cylinders, but you can understand six games in 15 days is a, a tough old schedule. Off the ball and just simple movement catches the Guangzhou back five. A little bit wanting. Bergson. First half. Charles Sard has been desperate to get involved in the game. Joins in as a, a third centre back. Forestieri. That's for Afik. The foot was high though from Afik for Zale. All the action has been to the 
goal to our right, the three goals, plus all the possession. The one shot of any note from Guangzhou, that came from Shaolin. And that came from inside his own half. So Hazik Nasli off his line. has second chance to pick out Nacho Inza. Velasquez and Afik Fazel, who as usual has been very quietly effective, Afik, and then instantly gives the ball away. Davis wins it back. Velasquez. Arif running at Tianqing. Forestieri. Ball got away from him, challenge coming in from Rue. And Charles Sard was too strong for Shaolin. He's put a vast amount of work as Shaolin, the number 56 up front. And since he's one of the boys who's going to be tiring around about the 70 minute mark. Velasquez. Tugged back, not once but twice by Yangtzin. Joe get on with it quickly. Forrest Rieri. Long range effort. Last action of the first half. Image uh, two early goals really set the tone for this match. Bergson inside 10 minutes. Then Forestieri, courtesy, a dreadful goalkeeping error from Haley Pam. In fact, Haley Pam may well find it's an own goal against him. Bergson then scored a very good goal after Forestieri's step over. Shane Lowry with one assist for Bergson's first header. It's been Pretty straightforward for Johor Darrell Taksim. They will have much, much tougher matches in this AFC Champions League group, but they've started exactly as they wanted to. They've got themselves a comfortable half-time lead at the stadium, Sultan Ibrahim, and they lead Guangzhou FC by three goals to nil.
Very warm welcome back to the Sultan Ibrahim Stadium. We are in Johor. It is the match day one of the AFC Champions League and Guangzhou Air. Guangzhou are the visitors to Johor and Guangzhou on the wrong end of a 3-0 thumping at halftime. Berks and De Silva with a couple of those girls, one, uh, goals, one a, a far post header. And the other, a left-footed drive. He just needs a right-footed goal to complete the perfect hat-trick. Fernando Forestieri will be given the second, we understand. Although he was given a massive amount of assistance by Hayley Pan, the goalkeeper for Guangzhou, who pushed his shot up and then, in trying to catch it, pushed it over the line. But Forestieri, you try and take that goal off him first in the AFC Champions League. Nacho Inter, the captain. Just making sure the focus is right for the home team. All our focus is on the home side. You look at uh, Guangzhou, though, and they will just be hoping that they will live and learn, get as much as they possibly can out of this opportunity. And they've got a substitution on. Huang Kaizu has come on. We'll get confirmation on who he's replaced in just a moment. But he needs to go to the touchline first. So Huang is on, and the man who is replaced is the hard-working Hei Shaolin. So Hei Shaolin gave us uh, as much as he could for 45 minutes. And his replacement, uh, Kaizu. Johor in the red and blue. They win this, will top the group after match day one, but they've got Ulsan next here, that's on Monday, followed by Kawasaki Frontale on Thursday. And Kawasaki next Sunday. So, there's a whole lot of games coming up in Johor of a, a really high quality. Formation of the substitute, Hwang is on. Will be the the lone striker. It's a 5 4 1 very definitely for Guangzhou FC. As for Johor, no changes from them as Forestieri is on the receiving end once again of some rugged behavior from uh, that time Yi Fan. Didn't seem to be too much in it, just a, a little push in the back. There's a challenge going in from Kaiju. Matt Davis. Charles Saad. As he wanting to get involved, he's just had a picture to your right there. But desperately wanted to get a touch, get involved in some way, shape or form. Hasn't exactly been overextended today and he doesn't exactly get that many first team opportunities. Here's Shane Lowry. Set up the first goal. And to Charles Saad. To movement ahead of Davis. Happy just to keep position and swing Guangzhou left and right and left and right. Forestrieri, Bergson, just try and up the pace a little bit. And Afik just eased off the ball by Yang Sin. Forestieri looks for Bergson. He's on a hat trick, of course, but they'll be very alert to Bergson now. They know you give him a little bit of space, and he was given too much space for both of his goals. So as soon as the ball looked like it was going close to him, both Hao Jin and Zhao Hao trying to close the door. His goalkeeper, Hilei Pan. run you through the Guangzhou team. They've got He Le Pen in goal. The three centre-backs, 63 Yi Fan, 88 Hao Jin, 58 Jia Hao. The wing-backs are 73 Ru Wei on the right, 76 Tian Qing down the left-hand side. The central midfielders are 66 Yang Xin and 43 Jen Feng. The wide players, Rumbiao, 99, and Hao Zhu, number 62, with 
Kaiju leading the line. the lines and just find a little bit of space and then the pace the Argentine in some of the play that they have up front quickly move the ball on here as they do through Davis looking for Bergson here is Bergson there's a right footed shot not too far over the angle it's not the best ball in from Davis but Bergson makes something of it Johor Darrell tags him side. And they've got uh, Azik Nadsley in goal. A back four of Matt Davis, Cheryl Sard, Shane Lowry, and Lever Corbin Hong. Nacho Inter, the holding midfielder with Afik Fazel and Leandro Velasquez working around the sides. Forestieri, Arif Ayman providing the width for Bergson de Silva. There's Lever Corbin Hong. Forestieri. Right. Charles Sard is in there. Very quickly is Velasquez but, uh, ahead of Yang Sin. Charles Sard. Davis looks for Arif. Oh, Arif couldn't take it in his stride. That straight ball, either into Bergson or into Arif, really is very difficult to control. And the players have got to put a little bit of backspin on it, really, for it to be an effective ball. Jamal do like to play it. Jambiao, the pressure wins the free kick. on impassively Johor for quite some time he spent some time at JDT 2 and before he earned the opportunity to take over the first team it's been non-stop success since then it's up Good finish but defensively. Ancho will look at that and think maybe, maybe we've got to get closer to a, a striker in the kind of form that Bergson's in. Two headers and a left footed goal for Bergson de Silva. confidence every time he goes out on the pitch 
but it will get more difficult. I can't overestimate that. Kawasaki and Ulsan will not provide that kind of space as Bergson runs down the channel. Again, one of those straight balls, difficult to hold up. Attack, but Corbinong is aware of it. And that will be a Johor throw. Velasquez. Arif. Bergson. Arif. Just a little bit too much on the, the, the surface is so good that if you over hit it a little bit the the, the grass will not hold it up because <laughs> it's a true surface what i was about to say just before bergson completed his hat trick was Johor do have a, a, a massive reliance on bergson and forestieri to score their goals In the league, it's uh, seven and three, respectively. And the other goals are being scored by one of foreigner, Carly De Merger. There's a break on here, though, for Fernando Forestieri. Trying to curl it. He's always looking to open his body. level of play this space that he is allowed he's allowed to run into the vacant space and then set himself up without a challenge coming in the goalkeeper can hit it both left and right footed equal distance is impressive Second goal. That's the bear coming on. He's got two assists to his name now. That's two works and goals. Closing down coming in from uh, Hansu. Sorry, from Riway. Uh, uh, the right wing back. And he again, desperate to get some kind of involvement. ahead of him as we hit the hour mark I'm expecting uh, Benjamin Mora to ring the changes maybe 10 minutes later or so for uh, Pan Yong Hei Spongio legs will need refreshing come 70 75 minutes you suspect and sir Corbin Ong Just a little change of pace. Velasquez, Forestieri, Bergson. Forestieri bundled over unceremoniously by Janssen. Vasquez will fancy this, Bergson will certainly fancy this. Forestieri is over there as well. The Latin trio. Five 
drive in the walls, you look at the numbers, whatever happened to 1 to 11? Right, Bergson, uh, Leandro is left footed, Forestieri right footed, five in the wall, Forestieri poured away. Probing on. Delicately done by Lowry. Safai Rashid prepares to come on for JDT. Lowry wants it switched. Velasquez goes back inside. Davis, Arif to his right. Such quick feet, Arif Ayman. Very difficult to defend against him. Here's Lowry. 5-4-1 remains rigid. Perhaps too rigid because they sometimes don't track runners. Velasquez over the top for Davis. Arif. This time Arif can pull it back. But Afik Fazel, whose first touch lets him down. His second touch wins a corner. Fazel is I think, the man who's being replaced. That's why he was uh, asked to go off on the far end of the pitch. <laughs> Safari is on the subs bench. It shows you the embarrassment of riches that Johor Dahl Taksim have, have got, certainly at the Southeast Asian level, to call upon. Five in the penalty area. Lowry free! That'll be another corner. Shane Lowry, as you can see, thought he should have done better. In the end, Yaksin just got close enough to him. This time they come short to Fawi. He wants a corner, won't get it. He's the earlier header. What above his man? <laughs> Yanks in backwards, Davis presses. JDT have got the ball through Safawi. Forestieri, Velasquez, Bergson. Very intricate. Runs over his man, and Forestieri runs through his man. to their credit are still diving in, making the challenges, being as rigid and robust as they possibly can be. And he is man against boys. Forestry area. Fancies a shot for 
Fernando Forestieri. Challenge coming in. to Kaijo. Long ball over the top, invites Lever Corbinon just to chest that one back to Hazik Nazir. That's the first time Hazik's had the ball in his hands. Oh, we were nearly 19 minutes into the second half. down this left-hand side. To Winter. kicks in, you expect to see more and more Guangzhou lads go down. They've not played a lot of football, the, the senior team hasn't played since January. They've had training games only, and training games are nothing compared to the intensity that you need to play in an AFC Champions League match. And they've got another five of these games to come over the next, uh, after this one, 12 days. Every three days there's a match. This is going to be a grueling occasion for Guangzhou. I'm not sure that the Malaysian management team will be learning too much that they didn't know. Although they'll have liked the work of Afik Fazel, maybe they'll. Enjoy seeing Safira Rashid get a bit of a run out and Levert Corbin Ong as well. Seeing um, his work at left back. And of course, our refinement. Throwing goes the way of Guangzhou. It's uh, very much a shadow side and a pale shadow of the team who were so thrilling in AFC Champions League glory days. Thanks to Marcelo Lippi and Scolari. And Cannavaro. Great coaches. Massive amounts of money. And Charles Saad. Leandro. Fizzes it out to Harry Feynman. Vasquez again. Drill up to Johor to keep the energy high, keep the momentum going. Bergson, lovely ball into Safawi. That's a good battle between Safawi and uh, the left back Tianqing. Tianqing's had a, a good game. Now he's feeling the fatigue. He does look shattered, doesn't he? That's a physical battle against a, a guy who's just come on, Safari Rashid. Group Ulsan won, Kawasaki won. Kawasaki rescued by a gift of a 94th minute goal for uh, the equaliser. Ulsan have been ahead from the 
first minute. It was a high quality game, kind of chess in many ways. Kawasaki, although they were fortunate with the way they got the equaliser, probably deserved it. A kick out on the side of the head. Hao Jin was instantly, instantly apologetic and immediately, immediately said there was nothing there, but it is a red card. The referee's got no choice on that. Even if there's no intent, the actual action caused real harm to his opponent. And that is a straight red card for Hao Jin. He can look as frustrated, confused, whatever, as he wants. But it's a straight red. He's nowhere near the ball, is he? I don't know what he's trying to do. Is he trying to strong arm? Is it? Oh. Oh. I thought. A long way away. I thought he was going for the ball in some way, shape, or form, but he's so far away from it. But that red card, straight red. We'll rule about the next couple of games as well. As Corbin Ong encourages him to take the, the walk to the dressing room. So 4 0 down, down to 10 men, and 20 minutes to go. Understand why a coach would shake a hand of a player who's just been red carded. Looks for Safari. Again, it's that straight ball. It's so difficult to control the pace. Two-nil after 13 minutes, three-nil at half-time. Final quarter of the game, four-nil, as Corbinon gives uh, Harry Feynman a pass with too much on it. Harry little push there on Jim Fang. Guangzhou will no doubt try and slow things down as much as they can. Reduce the punishment. I think, as we expected, they are going to be the whipping boys in this group. <laughs> Davis has given the ball away, though, so far he's rescued him. Charles Sard, Velasquez. Little triangles always work in football. Can always get you out of danger. Corbin Ong. Top looks for Forestieri. What Guangzhou have done is they haven't uh, directly replaced the man in the back five. They've just gone to 4 4 1 instead of the 5 4 1 formation that they had. So a few more holes may well appear in that, in that rear guard. Lowry. A couple of substitutions waiting to come on for Johor. Ramadan Saifullah and Nazmi Fires Manso. Ramadan, another of the guys who's come through the Johor development programs. Safawi. Oh, that's not wide to 
Corbin Ong. Just the injection of pace might come off, so so far he's cross. Foul, a push at the back post by Bergson de Silva. Defending coming from Tian Ching. For the second time has gone down in a heap. Changes, Nacho Inter comes off. Also, Arif Ayman. So, Ramadan Tai Fuller will replace Arif. He's uh, shown plenty of pace. As we fires, will replace Nacho Inter. And interestingly, the captain's on back went to Cheryl Saad. A relatively recent signing from Perak. <laughs> Velasquez. They've got a glut of attacking players out on the pitch of uh, Johor. Forestieri glides away from a couple of challenges and then is hip checked by Jaho. In ice hockey, that is a fabulous piece of defending on the football field. It's um, less well regarded. So Ramadan and Nazmi confirmed is coming on. Um, in a couple of brief appearances in last season's AFC Champions League. Nazmi is an established player. It's the old solid. Check. Yeah, how? Well, a dummy, dummy little diversion for the free kick. And easily defended. Change coming for Guangzhou. Rumbiao, the left-sided forward. His day is run, and he has done a lot of running to be replaced by Igor Chen. This is an appropriate time, says the referee, just to take a break, the final water break. The second half notable only for Bergson, completing his hat-trick and for a ton of Guangzhou resistance to Johor pressure. Johor had 80% of the ball in the first half, and it's pretty similar in this second half as well. There is his hat-trick, the first after 10 minutes from Shane Lowry's lovely cross. That was number one. Number two, little dummy from Forestieri, takes Corbin Ong's pass and rifles one into the bottom corner. Number three, Again, courtesy of Lebert, Corbin Ong this time across to the back post, where he's just run away from his markers, heads down into the ground, into the middle of the goal. Indeed. Sato do Atiga, one, two, three. Uno, dos, tres. So the water break has been taken, the substitution has been made. We've learned what Guangzhou are going to do in this group. They are going to struggle, as we expected them to do. 4-0 here with more difficult assignments to come. Second change also taking place. Fan also coming off. The replacement is Chen Kun. Davis puts the cross into the far post. Chen Kuhn's first involvement. Scuffle with Forestieri. Nazmi. Ramadan into the corner. 
and Ramadan immediately wanted to get involved in the game. Boris Vieri. Velasquez. Nazmi. Time and space for Forest Vieri. Thought of opening his body, didn't quite come off. Kovinong is there though. And of Higo Chan. Footer, but operating down the left hand side. Safawi, predominantly left footed, operating down the right hand side. Velasquez. Thomas Rieri works ever so hard. The touch perhaps not always as certain as he'd like it to be. But the attitude and the aptitude is, is very, very apparent. Must be a dream to work alongside. Hoisted high by Jaho. Nazmi. Touch eventually finds Ramadan. He's bulked up a bit as Ramadan. Lovely ball over the top from Nazmi. Just well seen by Jaho at the last moment. This is Tian Ching. Kept it alive, but Cheryl Saad might give Hazik a rare touch. Excellent under pressure. Reverse ball for Ramadan side Fuller. And Ramadan, oh, deliciously done. That's a really cool finish from Ramadan side Fuller. Made a very intelligent run. His first touch was very good, but his second touch, as the keeper came off his line, was absolutely sublime. minute and Ramadan cuts inside of goalkeeper maybe didn't need to come off his line but there wasn't much cover in front of him Ramadan got acres of space but that's just really gently done that's great skills so Nazmi will get the assist and Ramadan will get an AFC Champions League goal Really delicately done. The goalkeeper kind of made up his mind for him in many ways. As JDT maker, a couple more changes. We're going to see Nathaniel, Nathaniel Show coming on. I've never seen play before. And Shami Safari signing in the offseason from Salangor. Daniel Show is the official name, Hong Wan is the, the given name. Let's see what the uh, English born player can do. As that's hoisted forward. Lowry. Uncompromising, even at 5 0. Here is Hong. Shami taking over from Davis at right back. We do have an embarrassment of riches at a Southeast Asian level, Malaysian level. It's whether or not Johor are able to take it on to the, the next stride to do what Buriram and Wong Tong have done in Thai football. And City Taylors are trying to do in Singapore football. And Larry is over, uncompromising.
embarrassing as ever. Despite the best efforts there of uh, Jem Fang, who's been brave, worked hard. Can't take anything away from the, the work ethic of the Guangzhou FC players. Deng Xiu is the latest to come on. And he will come on for the hard-working Wang Chanqing. He's probably been one of the more impressive Guangzhou players today. Not an awful lot has got down that right-hand side. He dealt with Arif Ayman very, very well. Free kick against Ramadan. Again, Bergson, maybe chasing a fourth, Ramadan. <laughs> Too busy for his own good there, kept the ball alive and then kicked it out. Then wins the ball back, Nazmi. Twisted forward by Chen Kun. Four minutes in what's been a, a hard opening game for Guangzhou. And it will get tougher. Plus, they're going to have to play in the uh, the heat of the 5 p.m. kickoffs over at the Larkin Stadium for the next three matches. So it's not going to get any easier. Nice kick there by Zhao. first shot wide ball just seemed to stick under his feet a little bit as he picked it through gaping hole through the middle good cover challenge coming in from Yifan to give him credit coming in from the right hand side Chen Hun and Yifan just doing enough So nothing has got through to Hasik Nasli. Hasik uh, with a rare start. to get on the ball quickly enjoying his little few moments in the limelight ball over the top for Forestieri might break to Ramadan corner kick swing and a miss looking like they'd like to complete uh, the half dozen. Shane Lowry wanders up. He's picking up Shane Lowry. It's over him.
Hong is back there just controlling and giving Hazik another rare touch. Nazmi. moving all over the place. He had to keep his eyes on that one. Fires Mansour is capable of the spectacular. Final change coming in as the really hard working Yang Sin is replaced. And, uh, Su Tian Shi. Get the last uh, few minutes. Safari Rashid and then Hong fizzes one just over the top. That was real technique to keep that ball down. Young Nathaniel does well. I mean, that's off the post from Safawi. That's then blocked by his own player. I mean, that's great technique to have that one firing over the top. Nobody guarding the near post, Safawi. Seeing that, Shane Lowry. Oh, I love that technique. It's only been a couple of minutes against not great opposition, but he's really impressed Hong Wong. And that'll be a, a goal kick because Cheryl Saad has been too strong there, too big and strong. And Diego Chan can't get anything out of that. So into time added on for stoppages and injuries. And there's been a red card as well. And the goal celebrations. <laughs> Safari looking for the give and go with Nazmi. Here's Shami Safari. trying to shape that cramp afflicting one or two of the Guangzhou players I'm not surprisingly because they've had to shift left and right and back again they've worked hard they're a, a group of young players playing at a level that they're not used to in front of a big crowd big atmosphere it's not their fault they've been put into this scenario go away with a comfortable first game win first of six is the, the man whose brains and the operation behind everything that goes on at uh, Jehovah Al-Taksim 
Gotra of Johor. Watching on, he wanted the big occasions to come to Johor. He wanted a big stadium to host those occasions, and that's exactly what he's got here. Here's Ramadan Saifullah, scorer of the fifth goal, probably the best goal. A Bergson hat trick. Forestieri shot through the goalkeeper and uh, Robert and Sai Fuller. They are the five goals that will put Johor top of the table after match day one. Little matter of Kawasaki to come. Final whistle goes. Saudi referee Mohamed Khalid Al Hoysh had to dish out one red card. That was pretty straightforward to deal with some robust challenges from the Guangzhou FC players but generally he was in thorough control of this match as were Benjamin Mora and his team Bergson de Silva with a hat-trick Ramadan Saifullah coming on for a cameo 15 minutes which include the goal Fernando Forestieri it seems we're determined to give him the goal even though the goalkeeper made a real mess of making what was a routine save and so Johor, Daryl Taksim are top of Group I, looking down on Ulsan Hyundai and on Kawasaki Frontale. Kawasaki are here on Monday, 10 p.m. local time. Guangzhou travel to Larkin Stadium to take on Ulsan. That's at 5 p.m. local time. Match day two of the AFC Champions League coming your way after a weekend's rest. So, a thoroughly enjoyable performance from Johor Darul Taksin. They did what they had to do. They've beaten Guangzhou to go top of the table. They've beaten them by five goals to nil.